If you've acquired a penny from 1985, you might want to find out more about it. What is its history? And could it be valuable? We have answers to both these questions and more. We're going to investigate the 1985 penny value and find out about the different factors that influence it. We'll learn about its design and composition, and we'll check out some of the interesting error coins that are out there. The penny struck in 1985 is part of a long-running series known as Lincoln Pennies. They take their name from the portrait of Abraham Lincoln that appears on the obverse. The first coins to carry Lincoln's image were minted way back in 1909, and that makes this the longest-running design in the history of U.S. coins. The Lincoln penny is notable for another reason, too. It was the first time a U.S. coin had ever carried the image of a real person. Until then, the idea had been associated with monarchy and was considered unseemly for a republic like the USA. But 1909 marked 100 years since Lincoln's birth. A whole series of events were planned to celebrate the occasion, and there was strong public support for the idea of a commemorative coin. While the design on the obverse may have stayed the same since 1909, the reverse design has been through a number of different versions. The first Lincoln pennies bore the image of two ears of wheat. In 1959, the 150-year anniversary of Lincoln's birth was marked with a new design. This showed the Lincoln Memorial in Washington, D.C., and that's the image that was still being used in 1985. The Bicentenary 2009 was marked with four different reverses. Each of them honored a different period in Lincoln's life. They were produced for just one year, and in 2010 the reverse was changed again to the design known as the Union Shield that's still in use today. The first Lincoln pennies were made of bronze, an alloy of copper tin and zinc. But over time, copper prices rose, making penny production increasingly uneconomical. In 1982, the mint changed the composition of the penny to zinc clad in copper. It was this same recipe that was in use in 1985, and it continues to be used to this day. If you have a 1985 penny, you'll notice the zinc core makes it lighter than one struck before 1982, and if you bounce them both off a wooden surface, they'll make a different sound. The 1985 penny will have a plasticky tone, while the earlier coin will ping dot. The head side of a coin is known in numismatics as its obverse, and it's the obverse of the 1985 penny with its portrait of Abraham Lincoln that gave rise to the nickname the Lincoln Penny. He had, however, previously sculpted a likeness of President Theodore Roosevelt for a medal. And since Roosevelt was closely involved in plans for the Lincoln Penny, it's possible the president had a hand in the selection process. The portrait shows Lincoln in profile, facing to the right as the coin is viewed. The artist's initials are tucked away at the bottom of his shoulder. Brenner wrote later that he had imagined the president as he would have looked when reading to a child, when he would be at his liveliest. The familiar motto, In God We Trust, arches above the portrait, while the word liberty is to its left. The date is further down on the right, and the mint mark, if there is one, will appear just below it. The classical building shown on the reverse of the 1985 penny is the Lincoln Memorial. Look closely at the center of the portico, and you'll see Lincoln's statue. This makes it one of the few U.S. coins to have an image of the same person on both sides. The design was included on Lincoln pennies from 1959 to 2009. It was the work of Frank Gasparro, the mint's chief engraver, and his monogram is inscribed on the right of the building. Look for it just next to the lower steps. The country name, United States of America, appears above the memorial, running parallel to the upper coin edge. The Latin phrase e pluribus unum, meaning from the many one, is inscribed just below. The largest lettering is reserved for the denomination, written as one cent. This appears at the bottom of the coin, running parallel to the lower edge. Coin condition is graded from 1 to 70, with 1 being used for the poorest condition and 70 for a flawless coin. Grade 60 and above are used for mint state coins, those that have never been circulated, and 65 and above indicates a coin of gem quality. A red 1985 Philadelphia penny is worth only about a dollar. That rises to $10 for a gem graded MS-65. There's a big jump in value between MS-67, $35, and MS-68, $185. And anything of a higher quality is both rare and valuable. The independent coin graders, the PCGs, have certified 12 coins at MS-68+. 
they value those at $3,750 apiece. And the finest known example is a soul coin graded MS-69 and valued at the princely sum of $15,500.